guys. I'm a few minutes late. I'm sorry. I jumped in the shower and decided to do a hair mask and all those bits and bobs because I have been at work a lot this week and so I feel like I haven't had a minute to myself. So I went and had a nice big shower and did a hair mask. So I didn't realize what time was when I got out of the shower. I was like, oops, I'm late. I told you guys I'd be on at 11. So I took too long in the shower, in other words. Um, and I do have Mr. Elijah here. Do you want to say hello? Yeah, be shy. So Elijah's usually with his dad today, but he's chosen to stay with mummy for an extra day. So I said, mummy's going to be doing a video. So he's in the background. So you may hear some six-year-old stuff in the background, but he knows he's got to be quiet when mummy does a video, don't you? You're going to be quiet. Okay. People are saying hello to you. Jessica says, hello, Elijah. Okay. So I was at work. I was on a trip away. Um, I went away with work for a little bit. And so it's lovely to see you too. Hi, Sharon. Hi, Tanya. Hi, Karen. Hi, everyone joining. Um, yeah, so I went on a trip away with work. And while I was gone, a big stamp and a package arrived. Declan sent me a picture and I was like... I'm at work. I can't even play with it. I can't even see it. I can't open it. Oh, you want to you want to say hello? Okay. So now we're going to get an addition. Do you want to show everyone? Your, show, you show everyone because I don't think they've seen. You can smile with your teeth and show them what happened. You're not going to show. Yeah. Who visited you? Did the tooth fairy visit? Okay. So... I got a big box of goodies. Hi, Karen. Karen said hello, Elijah. You gonna say hello? You're gonna be shy. Okay, so I got a big box of goodies and Elijah, there's some paper in this order that I reckon you'll like. Do you know what it's got on it? What? Doggies. Do you wanna have a look in a minute? I'll tell you when I'll tell you when I open it, okay? Yeah. Okie doke. So what I thought I'd do is I'd just say a quick hello to you, then flip the camera down and show you all these amazing goodies. And I was very naughty. I bought lots of stuff. So for those that maybe are new to the page or aren't sure, this is the <laughs> Hello Renee. Um, this is the new catalogue that um, has gone live this month and we've all been able to order. So as a demonstrator, I was able to pre-order some items earlier, but um, this month we were able to order from the whole catalogue and I've been so excited. I went a bit wild. Um, <laughs> whoops. Um, so I've got lots of new goodies to share out of the new catalogue. So I've popped a link in the video description. If you don't have a catalogue yet, you can request one from me. I'm happy to send them out anywhere in Australia if you don't have a demonstrator. Um, also, I've popped the links into my store where you can buy all of these products. Um, and I've put my monthly host code. So if you use the monthly host code, you actually get a pack, um, a roll of the Bumblebee Gingham ribbon free this month. And also a tutorial um, worth, from memory, $9.75, I want to say. Um, and that's from the Stampin' Society. So you get that free as well. Hi, Annette. Hi, Sue. Hi, Missy. Um, so lots happening, lots of products to put away, um, but I'll flip the camera around and show you what I've got to play with. Don't mind me, I've got no makeup on, I'm just out of the shower, so you're getting to see the real, well, let's face it, I never wear makeup. But, um, uh, guess what I did, guys? I went quad biking with work with a client and it was so much fun and I didn't break a leg so it was yes, a, I didn't so my son thinks I broke a leg because the running joke is that I went last time I went bike riding I rode a motorbike I used to have my motorbike license so um I actually had an accident and broke my leg quite badly and I have screws and plates in my leg anyway um I went quad biking because the client wanted to go quad biking, but it has four wheels, not two, so I was safe. But we went um, all around. It was beautiful. Um, it was. I'll have to put a picture of just, um, obviously I can't share all the pictures, but um, there's a picture of me on a quad bike and you can see the um, countryside, which we went quad biking in. It was really, really cool. Um, so I, I ticked something off the bucket list. I went quad biking. It was really, really fun. And I came out unbruised unbroken so it was all good we were all safe um and that was really fun so i've just come back from the east coast of tasmania which is a beautiful beautiful part of um tasmania east coast is my absolute favorite so i'm gonna flip the camera around and stop waffling and show you some new goodies so they're amazing 
I can't wait to show you. Okay, so I'm gonna flip and see how we go with no technical difficulties, hopefully. I've got literally products all over my desk, so this is gonna be a bit of a juggle. Hello from Florida. What's the weather like over there? Hopefully a lot warmer than here. It's freezing. Okie doke. Okay, that went well. Fingers crossed it stays this way. Okie doke. I'll get you up on the screen so I can see what's going on. Hi, Sandy. Hi, Sherry. Lots of you joining. I hope you're having a crafty weekend. Hope you're being able to get lots of stuff done. Um, I've been sitting at my craft desk this morning organising some of my new stuff. Not this new stuff, um, but the previous box, which I've already shared with you. I've been popping away and popping on magnet sheets. So um, those that don't know, this is how I store my dies. And I get this question a lot, so I'll answer it before anyone asks. Um, these are the Totally Tiffany 5x7 stamp storage pockets, I think they're called. I buy the magnet sheets off eBay and I buy 5x7 chipboard backing board off eBay as well. And it all slips in. I just use my labeler and pop the name of the dies with the amount of dies they should be. So that's how I store them. So that's what I've been doing this morning. And every time I talk a lot, I get really thirsty. Now I need a drink. Hot. <laughs> Mm. Are you going to the park? No, um, we're not going to the park, darling. It's too cold. Someone was saying that where they are, because I live on the other side of the world, it's really hot. Okay, so I think I might show you some accessories first. Um, oh, yay, Sandy. Hi, Paula. Were you live yesterday? Did I miss out? I saw you guys, I think it said created a room, but I was away with a client and I, I couldn't join. But I saw that I think you were live. Um... Oh, yay. Hi, everyone. So this is the foam adhesive sheets. I've already showed you these, so I won't show again. But those alphabet dies that I just showed you are going to be amazing with these. So I got another packet because I knew that I needed them. Well, I wanted them, but needed them. So I got another packet of those, and I got some brand new adhesive. So this wasn't available when I did my first order. Now, this is just the... We've got two new types of adhesive um there's stamp and seal and stamp and seal plus now i've just got the stamp and seal hi nikki hi emelina um i missed you guys too yeah i was going to like but i was with a client so i couldn't i was going to pop in as quickly say hello but i couldn't um hi liz how are you i'm showing all the new products i hope you saw what i tagged you into liz hi brenda um so this is one of the brand new ones they've got two types of stamp and seal being released so this one is the um, Stamp and Seal. The Stamp and Seal Plus, which I haven't ordered yet, is for like, it's a bit of a stronger adhesive and great if you're putting together like 3D projects or something that needs a really strong adhesive. Um, I might just share this live to a group just so that my team can see. Um, share in a group. Oh, goodness. Um, what's... We'll just share over there, shall we? Um, feel for, hello, Angela. How are you? Share. And then every time I do something to this video on the laptop, it freezes on me. Um, Paula, have you used the new stamp and seal? What do you think of it? Because I have not used it yet. So this is, this is like my first experience. I'm just going to grab a scrap. Might grab black so you guys can see it. Okay, hopefully that works. Please work for me. Okay, let's open it up, shall we? Okay, so these are just two refills for the bait for the original stamp and seal. So oh, I've got no fingernails, and this is this is pretty cool though. It's got a resealable packet, so that's handy. A bit of a different shape to the um, stamp, uh, the snail adhesive that we had. Help. And then, okay, so that's different. I'm just going to try and make this work so I can see your comments live. Yeah. You couldn't order any. Oh. Okay. Um, so it's got a bit of a cap, so that's a bit different. So I've got, a, I've actually got a stamp and snail here. 
This one just had a lip that you sort of pulled down. So, uh, lush, quiet, mummy's doing a video. Um, so this one's got a cap that you just remove off there. I'm going to assume, so I haven't tried this. Okay, yep, so you just roll it along a little bit till you start to feel that adhesive. Now, I think with the snail, or it might have been the fast fuse, um, you had to do a flick. But this one, I think, oh, that's heaven, can I just say? Oh, okay, so you do get a bit of a grab, so maybe we just roll it along a little. So if you just do that and then just flick to the side a little bit. Oh, that rolls on so smooth. That is actually really cool and it's really tacky. Compared to the snail, um, it folds back on itself, it becomes bulky. Oh, really, Jess? Okay, so the snail up above that doesn't give you, it's definitely not as tacky. This is a lot more tacky if you can see my finger sticking to that, whereas this one will just lift off. Whereas this one, actually have to pull it off a lot harder. So yes, definitely a lot better. Hold on. Elijah, mommy's doing a video. Remember, we've had this discussion. Okay, well, just quiet, because we don't need to hear the Star Wars battle in the background. Okay, um, so that is pretty cool. And you get, I think it's 15... Yeah, 15 metres, which is 16.4 yards on each refill. So it's a little bit more because I think this one was 12. So I'm really, really happy with that. That's actually really cool. But then again, I will have to play with it for a bit, but that's a lot more tacky. I, I like it. <laughs> so that is really cool. Definitely, definitely awesome. The only thing I'm a little bit worried about, I guess, is the um, this being detachable. Knowing me, I'll lose it. How do I stick? Oh, there we go. Let's stick it back on. It's a lot bigger. So there's the snail. So it's a lot bigger, but I think that's good because I think it will be easier to hold. So it's got these grips that your fingers can go into. It'll be really cool. And to refill, I'm assuming that we just lift this off. I don't know if we need the cap off. Yep. So we just lift off. Take. Oh, look how easy that is. Just take that out and pop a new one in. Really, really easy. Now... I'm saying really easy and now I can't put it back in, but only because I'm putting it in the wrong spot. Okay, so then we just pop that. That is super cool. Super easy. I like it. I'm very impressed. You all need one. <laughs> okay. So I'll just pop that lid back on and we'll pop those to the side. So I've got two refills for that because I needed to grab those. Oh, look, Jean Jeanette, I lose everything, honestly. Hi, Lisa, how are you? Um, so, I've got some papers to show you. Um, actually, before, well, I, before I do that, I'll show you some more adhesives because I did grab a couple of things. Um, so now we have adhesive sheets again. Those may remember we did have adhesive sheets, um, but they were Sizzix branded. So when we tie... Um, we were no longer with Sizzix, we didn't have the adhesive sheets. So we've got them again. This comes with 12 and they look to be 6 by 12 inches. Really, really cool. So for those that don't know what adhesive sheets are, um, you simply grab them out and they've got some lines on them here which you can lift back and you've got actually an adhesive backing. So you could stick that onto some cardstock, Elijah, or go into your bedroom and shut the door and play it, please. Oh, play well, you need to go outside and play it then, because Mummy is doing a video. Well, Elijah, Mummy is doing a video. Okay, so um, if you've got something really intricate that you need to die cut and um, then stick down, you don't you don't think you're going to be able to get your glue and it'll be a mess. These are really really good. Definitely recommend having them. Um, they're amazing um, and especially with like we do have quite a few intricate die cuts so the only thing is I can't see myself keeping them in this packet because that sticky thing is going to drive me nuts so I will probably take them out of the packet so they are the adhesive sheets awesome and then I got some cling adhesive you get 168 strips in here and I was a bit curious to see what this was all about. I blame this one on Jodie. She told me I should add them to my order because she was here when I pressed submit. It's all her fault. <laughs> um, and then I think, so 
So as an example, I will grab an old clear mount set. Where are we? So this is an old clear mount set. So these ones are, oh, look at that, Kayla. I'm all prepared. I've got a whole big stash of stuff in there. Um, so these are the ones before we had cling. And isn't this embarrassing? I've only used one stamp out of this because the others aren't even mounted. So the reason what I would do, and this is, this is how these work, is if you do have the cling mount ones that were before, um, sorry, the clear mount ones before we had cling, um, this adhesive here, so you can still add the sticker, is not as sticky and it's not gonna stick to the block like our beautiful cling mount does. So we can still adhere it down to the sticker and that way when you stick it to the block, oh, this feels so weird now I'm used to the cling, but obviously, see when you stick it to the block, it's falling off because they're not like our cling. So I, I'm doing this just off with no idea on exactly how to use these, but I'm gonna assume what I'm doing, which is not always the best idea, but um, you can just add a couple of strips of this cling adhesive and then you probably need to get something sharp to just pull the backing off. There we go. And what this is going to do is convert that. It's going to add enough of that cling adhesive that looks. How cool is that? You can have your sticker label and make it cling. So really super cool. It's going to be a bit tacky at first, just like our normal cling. It takes a while to sort of season it, I suppose you want to say. But that's going to make that into a cling stamp. And you can't even really tell. Like unless you look really closely, you can see a couple of strips of cling adhesive added. But that is really, really cool. So the, the cling adhesive you'll find in the adhesive section. Um, along with all the other adhesives. So I can go mount up the stickers to all my um, clear mount stamps now and turn them all to cling, which is definitely something I'm going to do because I love to cling. Um, so I'm going to have a big job ahead of me. So you get lots and lots of little strips on here. I think, what did it say? And, 168 strips of cling. So these are really cool to have and by the time you convert all your old ones, by the time you've done that, they can, you can buy all your new ones in cling anyway. Um, or backwards to the usual stickers. What do you mean Jess? You lost me. Is it the right way around? Good point Tanya. I might deal with that later. <laughs> Thanks for pointing that out. I didn't even think about that. Um, Kayla's had very little sleep too. I mean the usual stickers we place the stamp on the peel off section. So, what I'll do is I'll get it back out. How about we take these die cuts out, shall we? My big stash of goodness knows what project they were for. Um, so, do you mean when you mount them to these, Jess? So, it's, it's the normal way like that you would do with normal cling. It's just a different type of, um, this is just the clear mount stuff. And then we would mount it just as usual and then apply the sticky strips, which I just applied um, with the white side. So I just peeled, peeled one off and then um, you can just peel them, peel them off like that. And that's the cling. Does that make sense? Hopefully. I'm probably talking utter rubbish. I don't know. Okay. So, um, really, really cool. I'm really super happy I got those. Thanks, Jodie, for convincing me. Um, and let's put those adhesives aside. Um, I got some of the new um, 3 by one eighth of an inch square acetate card boxes. Um, I actually can't remember. I think these fit... pretty sure that they fit the little square three by three um because we've got little three by three envelopes which i think i saw a pack up here this morning um did i see a pack up here this morning yeah i did okay so these are our little three by three whisper white envelopes so we can make some tiny little um three by three inch cards and then you could make the cutest little gift box and gift someone a whole bunch of three by three note cards and you could tie it with a ribbon and make it all cute 
so I'm just doing a really quick job at this, but there's our little three by one, three by an eighth of an inch square acetate card boxes. So they would make super cute gifts and they're pretty, pretty affordable, I think. Um, let's have a look. So I'll just quickly go in here. So oh, here's our adhesive page. So the clean adhesive is $14 and that should give you enough to, to convert all of your original clear mounts. Um, the adhesive sheets are $17.50 for the pack. Um, the stamp and seal is $14 and then $9.50 for a refill. Um, so these little boxes are $10.50 and that gets you 10. So they're just over a dollar each a box but they would make some adorable little gift boxes with some cards. Hi, Megan, how are you? Um, so really, really cute. I think I'm going to have a lot of fun with those. Um, so I'll pop those to the side. Now I've got some... What am I going to show you next? That's all part of a suite. Um, I got some more of these. I was a bit naughty because I love the colours. I love the texture of these and how flat they are. They are super cool. So these are the playing with patterns of resin dots. I got some more of those. Um, and I actually have some to give away on my page, but I will share that later. Um, and then I got some papers. So I got all of the um, colour families in the 6x6 designer series paper. So I got the Regals, the 2019 to 2021 um, in colour papers, the brights, um, the neutrals and the subtles. So these are exactly the same. I think I've shown them previously on the page. Um, exactly the same as our in colour ones that we released a little bit earlier with the pre-order. So you get a few different designs. We've got a text design and there's like a wood grain pattern. And this is Coastal Cabana. I'm in love. Hi Jackie, how are you? And then there's some dots and a textured pattern. Hello, is it working? The computer's being funny. I don't know if I'm still here. Oh goodness. Is it working? Oh, technology. Nope, frozen background sound. Not. What does that mean? It's working fine. Oh, I don't know what happened just then. Okay, I don't know what's going on. Computers, my goodness. 
Okay, calm down. <laughs> Okie doke, I will just continue on and hope that stops. Ah, oh, technology. Okie doke. I'll have a look and see what I have got here. So I think that goes with that. There's so many different things. Okay, that one goes with there. So many things. They go with that. This one doesn't go with a set. I'll have a look. Oh, it was the computer being silly, Tanya. I was like, what is going on? Um, this one is called the Colour Velveteen Paper Pack. And I was excited about this one because it's like a velvet. And it's got like a purple colour. Oh, I love touching things that are like really, really fun. And then we've got, this looks like um, the new colour, what cinnamon cider. And then there's the soft sea foam. Oh, really, really cool. So that is the fun um, colour velveteen paper pack. That is a lot of fun. I can't wait to try it out and have a bit of fun with that one. Oh, sorry. I hope you're here. I've had phone calls come on the phone. Hopefully. Okay. Well, can you ring back on yours? Because mummy's busy. Um, okay, so now I'm going to show you the little bit of the lost words now. Um, these are the, what do you call it? I'm trying to find the thing. Um, the, oh, what on the earth is the word of this? Um, the collections. I've got a couple of collections that I've got here. And I thought I would show them to you. So this one is the really fun. You've got to take that in the room if you're going to do that, Dylan. Um, okay, so this one has some fun pets. Dude, in the room, please. Um, sweet, that's it, Janetta. Look at you guys. Oh, I need more coffee or something. What? So this one has some beautiful doggies. Look at the cute doggies. Aren't they adorable? You could cut these out. There's also, I will take the packet off these. And then these are the dies that are going to match the stamp set. I think some of these may match. I'm not actually sure which ones. I'm um, positive. Yes, this one matches this doggy. So you can cut that one out. And then I think some of them. I think it might be on the next one. So there's that cute one, and then we've got some stripes. And then we've got this one. There's some more cute doggies. Declan's excited because he loves German shepherds, and there's some amazing German shepherds on there. Hi everyone joining and then we've got some paw prints and some love hearts very cute and then we've got some kitty cats I think there is um, a kitty cat one in here um, maybe I'm not actually sure and then the other side of that is like just a black Mom. texture yeah darling you my I'm not sure darling I haven't seen it. This looks like this kitty cat I've here. Yep, yeah, that one is. Cool. And know, then know, we've know, got know. some little fish and some little love hearts on the other side there. Got we've got some bowls and some dog paw mine. prints and some bones. Um, oh, scratch, play, bark, wolf, dig, all kinds of things. And there's some bowls and feathers and fish and all kinds of cat pieces as well as a lot of cat words so yeah lots of really cool things in that paper I'm gonna love that I'm a huge doggy person I love my dog so I'm really really excited to have a play with that but I'll just pop that to the side actually I won't pop it back in its thing yet then we've got so obviously the dies which I just had a flick through so this one's a doggy and then we've got another doggy 
and I think there's two cats and then some paw prints. And then these are the stamps. So we've got two cats and two dogs. What's cool is the dog actually looks the same. There's the backwards and frontwards of the dog. There's a bowl, some butterflies, some love hearts, and then we've got always in your heart, so sorry if you're lost. Enjoy, I hope your day is a real treat. Really cute. The other thing that's really cool is that it comes with these beautiful ribbons. So we've got a red, oh, I think it's a real red ribbon, stitch ribbon there, and some basic black twine, really super cute. I'm not sure how much you get on each one. Um, I think got 10 yards and five yards on the other so I would say it's 10 yards of this one and five yards of this one so really really cute in there and then also as part of the suite it's got these gorgeous um, playful pets trinkets so you can get some there's little dog bones here and little hearts that you could have and you could do all kinds of things with those they're really really super cute I love them. So they also come as part of the suite and I might just pop those up there. Okie doke. So I popped those to the side. So that's one of the suites um, that I got with the pampered pets. Love the animal ones. They're so much fun. And then I also got this one that I'm super excited about and this is the peonies. Now I wasn't like rushing out to grab this until I kept seeing some amazing things done with this entire suite and I fell in love so I will just get it out so this paper is called the Peony Garden Designer Series paper and the colors are basic gray gray granite petal pink and whisper white so here's the first design and this is our petal pink color and then we've got some basic gray and I can't wait to try different colouring techniques with this stuff. It's really, really pretty. Then we've got some more grey there. And another grey pattern. Really pretty. And some more petal pink. And then some peonies. What did you find, Alan? You found a key. Good job. Then we've got some more grey. And some flowers. And then another floral pattern in our petal pink. Look how beautiful they are. They're gorgeous. Oh, this is probably my favorite. I love this one. That's gorgeous. Lots of things you could do with that. And that's like a marble effect. How cool is that? So they're the papers for the Peony Garden. But this also comes with a few other things that go with the suite. And that is, hi, Samantha, how are you? Um, this comes with an embossing folder called the Dainty Diamonds 3D Embossing Folder and creates these diamonds. How cool is that? I'm really excited to use that one. Now, this is Taylor for you. It also comes with um, these elegant faceted gems and I love this kind of stuff, so I may have bought three packets, but you've got a clear uh, petal pink color and like a glimmery frosted one, really gorgeous. Um, I love those. In the suite, there's also these beautiful square vellum doilies and you get 24 in the packet. Hi, Tammy, how are you? Um, so look how beautiful, oh, I threw it. Um, look how beautiful, they're really like thin and soft and easy to use. You can cut them down, you can make all sorts of shapes out of them. They're really pretty, so I'm really excited to use those. Also, as part of the suite, you can get this ribbon, which I just need to cut open and see how we go with cutting it open. Yep. Okay, so this is the basic or oh, grey granite shimmery ribbon. It's really, really gorgeous. I love it. It's got a slight shimmer to it. Um, you get 9.1 meters on here. And let's just see how this ties a bow. Like so. Let's see. How did we go? Oh, it ties beautiful bows. Absolutely beautiful. I love it. So lots of... Hello, Amy. Hi, Julianne. Hi, Tammy. People coming from everywhere. Now, if you're watching the replay on YouTube or even on Facebook, be sure to check out the video description where I've got links to where you can purchase all of these products. Um, if you want to save yourself some money, 
check out the joining special at the moment because you don't have to sell or anything like that but you can get lots for free so be sure to check it out um i'm just Mom, yes darling go for you sell you know why you saw for the shower? Why is that? Because I'm going to put the key in it so I know where it is. Okay. So this is also the stamp set that comes with this bundle. It's called the Prized Peony. So it's got this beautiful big peony here and a couple of, there's a medium one and a small one plus some leaves. And it's got some beautiful sentiments. There's even a little textured stamp here, but I love them. Your sweet friendship refreshes the soul. My thoughts are with you. Love and thanks to a dear friend and so sorry for your loss. But the really, really cool thing about this bundle that I think you'll all love is the builder dies, or I think they're not called builder dies, they're just called peony dies. But these are super cool. I haven't even looked at them yet because it's all been unopened. I got back from work late last night and I've only just opened it this morning. But hi Lisa. Um, so these don't look like much. You may, might look at these and go, what, what on earth do I do with these? But they cut out, so this one, these ones here all cut out the stamped images. But these dies here actually build a peony. Like, I'm really excited. They've got a stamen, they've got a cute scalloped border, all kinds of things. So if I show you um, a little look, I'm pretty sure there's one in the back here. Actually, there's one, I can see it. So this is actually the peony. That purple one they've sponged there is created using those dies. You can build a peony yourself. Like how super cool is that? I can't wait to do them in all different colors. Hi Kayla, how are you? Um, I can't wait to have a play and build peonies, like particularly bright ones. Like I love anything bright. So I'm really, really excited to give that a go. Um, so that's the whole peony suite. Isn't it beautiful? So I got that one and now what I've got to share with you is lots of stamps and bundles. So that's all the accessories, papers and adhesives and all kinds of things like that. But I want to share with you the stamp set. So I've got a, quite a few bundles here and then a, a few standalone stamp sets. So I've got this one which is a background stamp and it's called Dry Brush. This one's going to be really fun. Um, it's a cling mount stamp and it's got some beautiful texture on it. You could sponge this up in several different colours. You could do whatever you like with it. It's going to be amazing. So I got that one and that's a cling stamp set. And then I got this beautiful photopolymer stamp set called the Four Season Floral. It comes with um, four different flowers and three different sentiments. And this stamp set's only $24. It's actually really cheap and it's part of our beginner brochure. So um, you won't see it in the big catalogue because it's only tiny, but it's a beginner stamp. It's really, really cool. Lots of possibilities with that one. And I'm definitely going to do some videos using that. It's going to be a lot of fun. Um, then I got the celebration of tags because there's some really cute stuff in here. Um, this is for you, dude. Here's to you. Whale, hello. There's a zebra with a yay. Congratulations. All kinds of bits and bobs down here. And this one actually coordinates with our... Um, I will see, um, got it here, trio of tags, <coughs> it actually coordinates with this die that carried over, so this will cut out all of those bits and bobs, that you can line them up, really, really cool. Yes, What's darling? your last name? My last name? Yeah. It's McCready, darling, why is that? Um, so that is that one, and that's a photopolymer set. And then I have got this one, which is another cling set, and it's called Palette Thoughts. I was just obsessed with this wooden background when I saw it, and I love the font. It's just really bold. It's great for masculine cards, all kinds of things that you could do with this beautiful set. Hello, handsome. It's just great. And this one's a cling one as well, so really, really cool. Um, nice big stamp set. I can't wait to make some backgrounds with that one. It's going to be a lot of fun. My second name, do you mean my middle name? That's Renee. What's your last name again? McCready. <laughs> um, then we've got a photopolymer stamp set. This one's also out of the beginner brochure. And what sold me on this is the pineapple. I'm going to be honest. I love pineapples. I've got them everywhere. Pineapples, feathers, you've got me. So um, I love some of the sentiments in this too. There's the watermelon. You can make little what faces on your fruit. Name? Elijah, mate, I'm on a video. It's Kayla Renee McCready. 
And then I've got, there's some sentiments, wishing you a slice of happiness. I couldn't ask for a sweeter friend, smile. Just really adorable. Um, and that one's a photopolymer set as well. So really, really super cute. I love that the pineapple is separate so you can stamp the bottom and the top. Um, I love, love, love it. I can't wait to do a video with that. Oh, thanks, Jeanette. Oh, um, so I'm just trying to show you all the standalone stamp sets before I show you the bundles. This one is the photopolymer stamp set called Sending Sunshine. And it's got your water and um, all those bits and bobs plus a sunset separate. Then you've got some foliage and some beautiful um, sentiments there. Sending you sunshine, hoping your day is perfect. Inhale, exhale, enjoy. Like lots of gorgeous, gorgeous things. Um, I can't wait to play around with this one. So yeah, it's a beautiful, nice big set there. Really, really stunning. Um, then we've got the Loyal Leaves set. So this one is another great masculine one, but all sorts of other things that you could do with it. These would look amazing embossed. I love the shape of this leaf. It's really fun. But you've got older and wiser. You are strong. You are loyal. You are true. Missing you. Thank you. You are my hero. Lots of different things. This is a beautiful cling set, which cling is amazing for stamps like this because they've got a lot of detail and they'll stamp a lot better um, when you do a, a big detailed stamp. So that's really fun. I got this one, which is one that I loved when I first saw it. And I can't wait to play with this and have a colour. And that's called Seaside View. So you've got a beautiful, I can never say this, Arun, Arundondak. Arundok, uh, yep, I give up. <laughs> you can laugh at me if you want, but I'm terrible at saying the name of those. Um, and then you've got this beautiful like deck chairs and looking out into the ocean. Amazing. So, so beautiful. Some um, trees there. Take time for yourself. Hope you have a relaxing day. This one is also clean. So, so beautiful. I can't wait to colour and play with that one. Um, I've got the Comfort and Hope set. So this one's a gorgeous one. I love this scribbly circle and some of the textures here and all the beautiful sentiments. Um, I love the sending you a paper hug because that's what we do. Um, hi, Vicky. How are you? Um, lots of gorgeous things. Once again, this is clean. Um, then I have got the Textured Essentials in clean. Lots of fun, fun things. Adirondack. Did I say it right, Paula? Adirondack. <laughs> um, so these are all really, really fun textures and backgrounds. Um, they're only showing at 85%, so they're actually a bit bigger. That's really cool. I can see some amazing things done with that one too. I can't wait to have a play. And I've got to go out today, so I actually won't be here. But we'll see. We'll get there. Um, then I've got this beautiful photopolymer stamp set called Zoo Globe. And this coordinates with the snow globe um, dies that we had that carried over from the holiday catalogue. And it's actually a really fun animal set where you can make some cute animal snow globes or you could just use the animals on their own. Really great for kid cards or more. It's totally up to you. There's some beautiful um, sayings there like happy birthday, wishing you the best, so proud of you, let's go, it's a good day. So, so beautiful. Um, so there's that set. So it's a reasonable size there. And there's even some grass that's a bit cute and some leaves and bits and bobs. Um, that's a bundle. This one's not. This one is gorgeous. I love this one. I love the sentiments. I love how they've done them. So this one's a cling set. That's a thank you set. So um, some of them are like designed for the outside and the inside of the cards. For example, this isn't just a thank you card. It's a hug with a fold in the middle. And you can tell they go together by the font. Um, I'm one of the thankful ones. You're one of the good ones. Um, let's see what else matches. Thank you. And then it's got a little star, star message on the cover may appear smaller than actual gratitude. Um, little card, massive thank you. Um, well, all I can say is thanks and thank you. I usually just send a text, but this calls for a card. Really, really cute. Um, then I've got this, another background stamp. So I've got the stacked stone, which is going to be fun to use. Once again, this is um, a cling, beautiful texture. Really great to use with a stamparatus as well when you're using big um, background stamps like this because it makes the whole stamping process a lot easier and more um, accurate when you can have to re-stamp because obviously with the bigger the stamp, the harder it is to get a perfect image the first time round. So it's really handy to have a stamparatus tool which for those that don't know, our Stamparatus is our stamp positioning tool. 
Um, then I've got the beautiful Zanny zebras. So really cute zebras. Lots of different fun party animals and there's a little party hat and some grass and a star. And then you've got your party animal, kick up your heels, happy birthday, wild about you, and it's time to celebrate. This one is a cling stamp as well, so really fun. And then I've got the pretty parasol, which matches with our umbrella punch that we've got um, from our previous umbrella set that's actually carried over, so it's still available. And this one's got some really cute parasols with some edging and you've got some beautiful sentiments as well, plus a different, two different options for your umbrella handle. So lots of really cute things there. Hi, Letitia, how are you? Um, stunning set. This one's photopolymer as well. And then I've got this one, and I just thought of my auntie. Um, she may or may not watch this video, but um, she's obsessed with goats, and she has a pet goat, um, and it's called Little Goat. That's, that's its name. But it was just so funny I had to get it because um, her birthday's in July, I think. I'm going to have to make her a birthday card with a goat. It's just really, really funny. Um... I love it. I love it. The sentiments are funny too. Happy birthday, you old goat. You're the goat with G-O-A-T. Greatest of all time. I got you a cake, but I ate it. Way to go. I just love it. They're so funny. And this one is um, cling as well. Really, really cute. Oh, you love Zanny Zebras. I can see some amazing things done with that one. Right, so let's move on to the bundles. So I got the posted for you bundle. So I actually love this one primarily for this special delivery stamp. I think that's going to look so cute on envelopes. So many cute things. And I love the Just to Know. I even love the font of this. Um, it's also got a matching punch, which is the postage stamp, which I think is going to look really cute, like as backgrounds, all kinds of things. You don't have to just use it for this. So it's designed that you can punch out any of these images. But don't let that think that that's all you can do because absolutely not. You can do all kinds of things. It's going to be a lot of fun. So that's a cling stamp and we've got the punch. So that is one of the bundles. And then we've got um, the right triangle. Now I was a bit unsure about this one and I still don't 100% know what I'm going to do with it. But um, I can't wait to have a play and test it out because it reminds me a bit of quilting. So... I want to <coughs> have a go and see how we go. But um, this, these are the dies that come with. So you've got all of these, which I'm assuming are going to match up. Maybe. I'm assuming something or other, but that does match up somewhat, but it'll go right to the edge. Um, so you would have to have a play and have a go with it. But um, yeah, you can make all kinds of different things. So... I'm assuming, nope, I don't know. I'll have to have a good play and a wiggle around with it and see what I can create. But the dies have got all kinds of cute things like little banners and little edges. So this one's photopolymer. So you've got all your big triangles, but how cute would the big, um, big one look as like a background for a scrapbook page? I think it would look amazing. And there's lots of textural elements as well. So that's gonna be a lot of fun. But the dyes are what grab me, really. I just love the dyes. They're fabulous. So I can't wait to have a play with those. So that's um, the stitched triangle dyes that I wanted to have a play with. So I'll pop those back in. And then we've got the fancy phrases. Hi, Melanie. Hi, Cassandra. Um, fancy phrases bundle. This one's also a punch bundle, and it came with a beautiful tag topper. Um, now, I think this is two inches. I'm pretty sure, but I'm not 100% sure. I don't know what size this is. Not two inches, that's for sure. Um, okay, let's cut this down to two inches and we'll have, have a little whirl and just see. Is it two inches? Yes, it is, but it needs, I've cut it a little bit too big. Okay, so let's cut this down just a fraction. Okay, so I'll chuck this in here. Helps if you undo the punch first, Kayla. Chuck this in there here and then just do the top. And look how cute that is. We've got a cute little tag topper there. So really, really fun. You can do all kinds of things with that. So that is the fancy tag topper punch. But it also has this stamp set, which you can buy on its own or you can put it in as the bundle. It's got this beautiful arrangement of flowers. It's got amazing sentiments. I love the whole stamp set. Um, 
it's just so so beautiful a little something for you keep it in case you need it sometime um, just so many beautiful things and this one is a cling set as well so that's that bundle and then I have got the all things fabulous um, bundle I'm just making sure I'm doing this in the right way so this one goes with a beautiful set of dyes called fabulous florals um, which I just need to open up stuff everywhere so these are the fabulous florals dies so this is going to match all the finished pieces here and you've got the um, the greenery a beautiful background piece that would be stunning it's like a lacy die and then you've got all the bits and bobs to cut out all the smaller bits and then the cute little sentiments nobody gets me like you do you make the flowers smell sweeter and the sunshine brighter wishing you all things fabulous Yes, Jodie, that one's for you. I'm here for you. So lots of cute, cute things. It's like a two-step, three-step kind of stamping. You can obviously stamp the flowers multiple times. So you're going to work from lightest to darkest. Um, so those three, three images there all do that. And then I have to have a play around, but I think a few of those um, do that. Which bundle do you want, Vicky? Oh, Danette, I did not get the whole catalogue, I promise. There's still some things. <laughs> Um, so I got that gorgeous one and then the other the last two bundles are this a range of wreath bundle so I will just pull the dies out this one I just wanted to get out and I wanted to get and have a play because I think it's going to make some cute things and there's a really really fun oops let's have a look I love this wreath here actually I love both wreaths they're both beautiful, but the stamp set, um, once again, it comes with a bundle or you can buy them separately, but there's lots of cute things. There's a little sign here, which is going to look cute with like, say you could stamp that in black and then heat emboss one of these in white. That would look cute. Or you could do a brown, make it like a, a um, what do you call it? A, um, oh, I've lost the words. You know what I mean? <laughs> um, and then there's, do you call this, is this a pigeon? I'm not even sure. I'm terrible at names of birds. Um, so you've got lots of different sentiments for different occasions. I'll have happy heart day, but there's lots of cool things. There's this cute as love heart that says love and it cuts it out. How cute's that? Lots of different foliage, some different birds, the pears, love hearts. There's actually even a bow. Um, really cute. I think you can do it like, so it's, because here's the bow and this one I think you could cut it again so it's like a double layered bow maybe I'd have to have a bit of a play with that lots it is it's a partridge what did I say it was a pigeon it started with P <laughs> I was getting there so there's a stamp so this one's photopolymer oh that's quite large isn't it um really really cool so I can't wait to have a play with that and see what I can create so I've got lots of creating to do. I just need more hours in the day and days in the week and I'll be right. I don't know how you will feel about that, if you feel the same, because lately I do. Um, so the last bundle, one that I am really excited about, is the Hippo Happiness Bundle. And this one was created by the lovely Robin Carden. Um, and this was her million dollar set that she made. And it is really a cute. Um, it's got some dies that match it. So I'll just open these up. Let's have a look. Aren't those dies fabulous? Like honestly, this month at the moment, you can join my team if you aren't already a Stampin' Up! demonstrator and choose any bundle in the catalog for free. Um, off the top of my head, I can probably tell you how much this bundle's worth. Um, let's have a look. Hippo, Hippo Happiness. 49 let's have a look it is worth $84.50 so you can automatically get this on top of the added specials of joining you could choose any bundle for free this one's $84.50 and this would be very versatile because look at all these labels that you can use for amazing things so it comes with the cutest little critters so you've got a little sheep here and then you've got a unicorn and a hippo um, and there's some amazing little faces that you can stamp on. There's a butterfly, a balloon, and all kinds of bits and bobs. The um, sentiments are cute, but I love a couple of them in particular. Like, when in doubt, be a unicorn. I just love that. 
Um, hip, hippo, hooray. Fluttering by to say hi would be good with the butterfly. Thanks, thank you so much to you for the little sheep. It's really, really cute and you are special. So, so beautiful. It's a photopolymer set. So you, great because the, um, the little critters here are two-step. So you would stamp obviously like a hippo and a light maybe gray and then go across in a darker gray with your detail image so really really cute um that's the handy bit of them being photopolymers that you can line them up and really cute tags i think um these here these little bits here are to pop at the end of your cut uh, your tag when it's cut and that will create a little ribbon slide for you to place some ribbon through well at least i'm pretty sure that's what they're for i've yet to have a play and um, muck around with them but I'm pretty sure that's what they're for these are going to be so much fun you get 25 dies in this set it's really really cool I'm so impressed with this um, so yeah there's lots of stuff I have lots of stuff to put away now so I just wanted to come on and share all the amazing new stuff with you I've got stamps galore everywhere and so I've got to work out which ones need mounting and what stamp what dies need to go where but, oh, I forgot something. Look, I almost forgot to show you this. Good thing I turned around. I did get a new kit. Um, I hadn't got this one yet. So I think I showed you the purple pose, um, the gorgeous posies, I should say, one last week when I did a little unboxing. But this one is one of our new kits and it's called the Simply Citrus Card Kit. Now, the really cool thing about these kits is, is that they are all inclusive. You do not need anything that comes with the ink, the block, the adhesive, everything. Um, and it comes in this cute box. Isn't that gorgeous? And they're like little lemons on there. So in this, you get a little stamper spot, Night of Navy. Really cute. I generally don't use these. I set them aside and I'll gift them or something because I use my big ones. But you also get the stamp set. It's got like an adorable little lemon, um, little lemon slice or a citrus slice, some leaves. And it's got way to go, just a note, hello sunshine and thanks for being you. And then in here, we've got this little collection of bits and bobs. Let's open him up and have a look. Thank you, Doug. So, at the bottom here, we've got um, a full colour piece with all of the instructions and photos. So it's going to go through the photos of the finished cards. This is really, really cool for a beginner. It's going to have steps here, tips and the coordinating colours, etc. And there's some more of the cards. And then it's going to give you, so you've got here, let's have a look. Three, yep, three of the, I think that's like a mango melody colour. And then you've got some of these beautiful die cut tags and bits and bobs and labelly banner things. You've got some green card bases and some more die cuts. They all come pre-printed and ready. That looks like a Just Jade, beautiful. There's some more die cuts there in Whisper White. And then we've got some more card bases and some more card bases. And then you're getting all these envelopes and they're all lined. Look at that, isn't it cute? Like so beautiful. And then you're getting a whole sheet of dimensionals, a whole sheet of glue dots, a, ink, um, a stamp block, and then you're getting some um, baker's twine and also some really super adorable flower sequins in Whisper White. So there's lots of bits and bobs in here. As you can see, it's got the adhesives, the block, um, the stamp set, everything. This would be perfect for a beginner or perfect for a gift. It's totally up to you, but there's lots of amazing things um, that this could be used for. I'm definitely going to be probably giving one away soon on my business page to keep your eyes out. So I hope you enjoyed this little look at some lots of new products coming out. Um, be sure to ask me if you don't already have a copy of the new catalogue and I can organise one for you. Um, be sure not to miss out on the current specials. So at the moment, if you submit an order of over $400 Australian or get some orders together, um, from friends or crafty people that you know um, and you can get an extra $40 stamp and rewards which is really really cool um, and also at the moment if you join my team you can choose any extra bundle for free some of them are worth over $100 you're getting lots for free because you get free postage a free bundle of your choice 
$66 automatically free plus a 20% discount on all future orders. So there's no pressure to sell or host parties or anything like that. You can just enjoy the discount for yourself. No penalties, nothing like that. So send me a message if that's something that interests you. I'm happy to help. So thanks for watching, guys. And I'm going to go enjoy the rest of my Sunday and go have um, dinner with my parents and spend some time with my son. And so I will catch you guys soon. And love, I'll love you and leave you. Enjoy. Happy crafting. Big crafty hugs. Mwah. Bye.